It's July 19th and it's about 4.45 in the morning and we are getting ready to get on the road to Disney World. On a normal day, 4.45 in the morning, I would be dragging, but right now I'm just like, going to Disney World. Our temporary location, which is Tia's parents' house, it's right next to Interstate 95, shoot straight down. And we're gonna be on the road by about five in the morning. Fifteen in the morning and we are on the road to Disney so our day for today is travel down there we're gonna check into Pop Century and then we're going to go to Animal Kingdom because we have a fast pass for the flight of passage after that we're gonna have a dinner reservation at Storybook Dining at like 840 so in nine hours we'll be there we stopped at the Georgia Welcome Center. It is about 8.30. We got here a little bit before 8.30 and the front of the building where all the fun stuff is and Forrest Gump sitting on his bench and whatnot, it doesn't open until 8.30. So instead of having to walk all the way around to get in to use the bathroom, we just parked in the back. Just a tip for the travelers who don't want to walk around a gigantic Welcome Center building. Park in the back and you can go right in to use the bathroom. The more you know. Florida State Welcome Center. Nine kids. Front row. It is 10:30 a.m. and we are. Does this look familiar to anybody? That's right. It is the Florida Welcome Center, the second most happiest place on earth. Let's go get some OJ. Welcome to Florida. It doesn't look like there's any orange juice. It's just grapefruit juice. Rut row. <laughs> All they had was grapefruit juice. Apparently they ran out of orange juice the other day. Hashtag I like grapefruit juice. But I like to double fist it. And have one, one of each. Not today. We're walking over to take the obligatory picture in front of the Florida Welcome Center sign. They welcome you. Chicken salad sandwich stop. Thanks, Ma. Appreciate that. Getting on the road again. Next stop, Mickey Mouse's house. All time. America. You must be dreaming now. Nine miles from Pop Century Resort and we have 47 minutes worth of traffic. If you notice, none of these people are moving. Apparently there's a car wreck about four miles ahead, which means that Pop Century is much further away than that. But hopefully those involved in said car wreck are fine. Are okay. So it's one o'clock right now. Let's see how long this actually takes us. If anybody's interested, fl511.com tells you all the traffic updates in Florida, basically. And we just had a cop fly by on the shoulder. So hopefully everything is all right. You know, oh, I was honestly- was reaction there. Oh, snap, look One, at that. One, two, three, four, five, I lost count. It is 2.07 and we just started moving. Now, <laughs> we are on our way to Pop Century, which is, it's about 20 miles away now. Onward to Pop Century. It's 2.17 and guess what? We got a couple miles down the road and it's another accident. 
it is 226 and we are moving again so that one only took us about eight minutes we are officially in a disney world it is 2.50 p.m. and we are sitting at the stoplight right in front of Art of Animation. Here we go. Here we go. Pulling into Pop Century. You should be able to see the sun right there. So we are officially here at 2.51. We have pulled into the parking lot. All right, we're going up to the gate. Hello. Hello. Yes. Check in. Thank you. Thank have you. a good day. You're welcome home. All right, we are in. Okay, 90s building. We are in building eight, the 90s building, this trip. The last trip, we were in this building nine, which is the 80s building. <laughs> so that's confusing. It's gotta be down there near the, all the trash right there. Maybe. But they're going up. After a trek around this entire building, I think we have finally come upon our room right here as she Ooh, she there we go <sighs> is this a cleaning room? oh look at that we got a cleaning rag just in case we wanted to dust anything <laughs> let's see do we need to dust actually no that's very clean how about this nope that's very clean too i'm pretty impressed how about on top of the TV? Uh, the top of the TV is not clean. Ugh. We'll say this is a souvenir. It's three o'clock and we just arrived at our room. A nice renovated room. A little bit of dust up here. But otherwise very clean, very nice. Now we have to go get our luggage. We went in a huge circle around the building so I'm glad we didn't have our luggage with us. Now we gotta go get it. Point of note here, the signs tell you where your room is our room is 8253 8253 would be in this range right here and it's telling us to go that way well actually our room is this way and it's right where this cart is right here so we walked around the entire building that way and went around the whole building to come to our room, which was right there. So keep in mind, the signs are not always correct. So we decided to move our car from over there to right here. And we actually got the space right next to the uh, handicap spot, which is in the shade. And our room is right over there on the second floor, kind of like behind that bush. Now we're gonna take all our junk in and then we're going to rest for a bit and then we're going to go to Animal Kingdom because we have a fast pass for Flight of Passage. Tia's the strongest one. She's a fitness instructor. But I'm the one that always volunteers to carry the luggage. I don't want her to have to carry everything. So, whew. No kicks! 